MarvelCon, the final day here on Sunday. I am Marvel.com editor Ben Morse. I am Marvel.com associate editor Mark Strom. And I am host and writer of Marvel's The Watcher, Lorraine Singh. And we are brought to you by Dr. Pepper, always one of a kind. I really like to see, um, I, I like to see the, the, the excitement of the fans and, and, and how many thousands of people come to geek out and uh, me being one of them and, and, and just, uh, you know, show their fandom. But yeah, I was a big, big, big Spider-Man fan when I was a kid. Um, I had a ton of Spider-Man comics. Um, and yeah, Sam's one of my closest friends, and uh, we went to college together. And uh, yeah, I guess I, I guess I used to do Spidey fingers. I don't know. But, like, is that good? That's good. Is that good? I will take your title and, and King of Comic Con. That's good. I like that. What's it like at a convention? Like seeing the fans, we just love you guys. It's that's the best part. It's it's the only reason to come. Like I. I a part of my job is promoting the show, but the reason that this one is fun is because you guys are all here. Pushing the envelope, I think, is where it's at. I mean, we have a lot of fun. We love each other. We have a, we have a good time together. Um, we're doing our own version of the origin story of Ultron. Ultron was their chief villain when I went read the book. He's been, you know, he's been the Avengers villain for so long. I was amazed anybody was surprised it was going to be him in the movie. As always, the show has been brought to you all week long by the wonderful people at Dr. Pepper, always one of a kind. We'll see you guys soon, Marvelites. I'm Lorraine Singh. I am Mark Strom. I'm Ryan Panagos, aka Agent M. And this is Marvel. Your universe.